In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an animated PowerPoint slide. And this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I have created three USB style uh, shapes and I've just put the title here. You can just add the title. Now how the slide works is when I click the, the cap will open and the text inside will reveal it. So let me just show you when I click, you can see here it goes down and then this is the first option or the topic and the details are displayed here and when i click it comes the second one and then the third one so again one more slide i have created where i have just put the options in this uh, manner so again the same thing it comes here again and then the third one and another slide i have just made it one only where you can just put this okay so depending on your requirement you can choose one two or three and i have made one more where without any caps when i click it will just come out something like this you can see here so whichever you feel easy you can just choose the slide from and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes from the rectangles. I'm going to select the this one, which is rectangle top corners rounded. Draw the rectangle. You can see this much size. And depending on your requirement, you can just make it uh, more or less curve. You can see here the other end should be no curve. OK, and then shape outline, make it no outline and then go to rotate you can see here i'm just going to rotate right 90 degrees so it looks something like this now depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the size and then i'm going to add one more towards the right which is a smaller one so press ctrl d to duplicate this one and then go to rotate you can see here i'm just going to make it flip horizontal again reduce the size and i'm just going to paste it here all right now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give some gradient fill for this. So right mouse click, go to format shape. You can see here and then I'm going to select the gradient fill. So here I'm going to use a metallic look. So first of all, you have to select the type linear and direction. You can just choose any of this. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the first one and I'm going to give some a dark gray color. You can see here. The second stop, I'm going to select and give some light color. Again, third one, if you want, you can make it lighter. And the fourth one, again, I'm going to make it more darker color. All right, so let me just adjust it. So it looks something like this. You can see here the metallic look. So again, depending on your requirement, you can just uh, move the gradient stops. All right, so now I'm just going to make it like this. And then I'm going to give some a shadow effect so i'm just going to the shadow and giving the offset bottom shadow and if you want you can just increase the distance also so something like this then what i'm going to do is i'm going to first of all I'm, i can add the same effect here but i'm going to add it later but let me just show you uh, the small trick here what happens for example if i just put it here all right and let me just close this one go to the animations enable the animation pane now I'm going to use the animation called spin. Okay, for that go to add animation. There's something called spin here. But the spin, you can see here, spin is 360 degrees, it is rotating. So I don't want 360 degrees. Maybe I just need, for example, say uh, a 90 degrees rotation and just press enter key and click OK. But still you can see here the center point, the revolving point is in the center so actually it has to rotate from the bottom in that case the simple this trick or whatever the simple what we are doing the animation it will not work we need to do something more for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to add one more shape just press ctrl d to duplicate you can see here and then go to the format shape and i'm just can rotate this all right so i'm just going to place like this okay one this is on the top which is this part like this and one at the bottom something like this and then i'm going to select both of this and press ctrl g to group it and then this area 
i'm going to make it invisible so i'm going to make it shape fill and just say no fill so it looks something like this can you see now i'm going to bring it here all right then go to the animations add animation spin you can see here how it is spinning now double click this now maybe i'm just going to make it maybe 90 degrees let's see this one and click ok so it is coming like this so now i want the other side so i'm going to make it a counterclockwise and click ok you can see here how it is coming now now just double click this now depending on your requirement you need fast you can make it fast so it opens something like this and then i'm going to select this right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to give the gradient fill and then go to the effects shadow and give the shadow and increase the distance all right so if i play now you can see here it is working perfectly all right can you see so this is a small trick which will help you to do the animations better now the next part is the content which is inside so first of all i'm going to insert shapes i can select the rounded corner rectangle draw the rounded corner rectangle this much size you can see here shape outline make it no outline right mouse click go to format shape and i can give some different color or i can use gradient fill also so gradient fill i'm just going to move remove all this and then depending on my requirement i can choose any uh, good color co combination here for example let me just select uh, say a dark purple all right maybe i can just choose a uh, more black let's see how it looks it looks something like this so depending on your requirement so if it is black is not looking good i can just choose some other pink color so you can see here this color looks good then for, let me just bring this down and then i can go to insert i just want to add one line here let me just add one line and i want to give the white fill for that all right and then go to insert text box and i'm just going to say zero one the option or the step number make it white make it bold increase the size you can see here and then go to insert text box you can add the details here equals lorem within brackets one and let me just delete the unwanted text and put it here white font so our things is ready and then if you want you can just add the title also so let me just select only this part and press ctrl g to group it so it becomes one group and then what happens is i want to add animation to it so the animation i want to add is for example i can just simply go and animations so just select this enable the animation pane and here go to add animation you can go to the more motion path you can see here and make it down and just make it left side you can see here and click ok and how much you need first of all what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select all by pressing ctrl a and move this to the end and this area for example if i play this so here still some text will not be visible so what i'm going to do i'm just going to select this arrow hold the shift key so that you get the straight line and then i'm just going to move it till here so if i play now see here it goes something like this then i'm going to just select this and move it here on top of this you can see here and then go to format send this to back now let me just play it so when i click it opens and again on my next click it comes out so this animation i can just go to the animation and make it after previous all right and here for this you can just add any text or title here let me just add title here again make it black make it bold increase the size and then just put it here so let me just play now when i click it opens 
and then the text will be visible all right so this is the simplest way you can do the animation so depending on your requirement if you want to add more i can just simply select this one for example i can move this up press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to add one more at the bottom here so this opens again this opens and it comes something like this so depending on your requirement you can just add as many as you want